one from my series, Recipes to Die For, Pasquale's Rigoletto on um, 2, 2311 Arthur Avenue down in the Bronx. It's run by, or was run by, I don't know if he's still active in it, Pasquale Pazzi Pirelio. Uh He was a captain in the Genovese crime family. He used to run his crew out of that restaurant. The place has seen its share of mob violence. In June of 2011, Pirelio once ordered the beating of a panhandler who was outside harassing female patrons of the place. Actually, what he did is he ordered two guys to go out there and break the guy's knees in half. Soldiers Ronald the Beast Mastro Vincenzo and Buddy Torres followed the orders and they beat the guy. And then they were recorded later on talking about it as though it were a baseball game, you know. So Perello's son, uh, Pasquale Jr., was murdered as a result of an incident in the restaurant in April of 93. And that night, uh, Gambino, Gambino's consigliere Frank Lacasio's son, Salvatore, was in the place. He was being loud and obnoxious. Perello Jr. asked him to calm down. He didn't, and he told him to calm down. One thing led to another. So Perello Jr. slapped this guy in his face. On October 23, 1993, Pasquale Jr. was shot to death by an Albanian punk named Victor Merdita, who was arrested near the murder scene, which was at a... He followed him in a grocery store on East 107th Street. And um, as Pasquale Jr. walked out, he shot him once in the heart, once in the head. Then he hopped in a cab and took off. But there was an off-duty cop who saw this. He hopped in another cab, chased him down, and arrested him. Good for him. The Merdita's Albanian crew worked as uh, like a sub-crew to uh, Locasio's people. Remarkably, uh, he was acquitted in, in the trial in the Bronx Supreme Court. He was found guilty of related weapons charge, possessing a weapon, which in New York is God Almighty. You can do serious time for that, the Sullivan Law. However, he was sentenced to 5 to 15 years. He did 10 years behind bars. He was released in 2003. Then in December 2001, Patsy Pirelio and Genovese captains uh, Rosario Genji and Joe Denti Jr. were charged with extortion. This is a long list. Robbery, conspiracy, drunk, uh, gun trafficking, loan sharking, labor racketeering, embezzlement, credit card fraud, trafficking in untaxed liquor and cigarettes, gambling and counterfeiting. And that got him eight years. It's amazing it only got him eight years. I mean, uh, he was accused in the past of telling his soldiers, it's recorded him doing this, telling his soldiers when you collect a guy's debt, use an iron fist. He said, choke them. Actually choke the motherfuckers. Tell them, listen to me. Next time, I'm not going to stop choking. I'm going to kill you. Uh, in 2014, the FBI spent 25000 on this elaborate feast at Pasquale's restaurant. 46 mob guys showed up. They rounded them up. They were all wanted on various things including uh, Skinny Joe Merlino, Genovese acting captain uh, Rooster Onofrio. In August of 2016, Pasquale was indicted again in a racketeering case. Then in 2003, Victor Matito, the guy who shot his son, Pirello's son, was released from prison, and he was spotted by Ronald Mastrovo Genzo, uh, who saw him, who saw Marito outside a restaurant that he owned. So he told Perelio, Perelio began pl plotting a, a murder, a revenge. He brought in Israel, Buddy Torres, Anthony Zinza, and Bradford Wendra, uh, who were all time, long time members of his crew. But the FBI had an informant in the crew named John Rubio. Uh, he wore a wire, and the cops went and told Martita, but he lived to uh, go on another day.